Hey guys, this is Catherine with Oracle Intuitions. This is your weekly reading for April 15th to the 22nd. Now I was going from the Monday to the Monday, but I think I'm going to start going from the Friday to the Friday. So this is starting on the 15th, this upcoming uh, Friday to the next Friday after. All right. And we're going to be taking a look into the mind, body and spirit as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. You're going to notice that the relationship readings are going to be a little bit longer. We're going to be getting a little bit more in depth. If you don't want to watch them, that's fine. And you just want to watch the general reading, that's okay. Just there is going to be a timeline below. So all you have to do is click that. Now, I, I do want to apologize to everybody. Um, last week, I started off doing the readings. I actually only got the earth signs done um, because I had done that, you know, Sunday night. Um, unfortunately, what happened is I found out that, uh, or we found out that my son's best friend was actually killed in a car accident on, uh, you know, Monday night and we found out Tuesday morning. And so the rest of the week, we just sort of, I just sort of, you know, spent time with him, helping him through, you know, a very, very traumatic situation. Um, but you know, here we are, we're back now. Please make sure um, that you click like, please click subscribe, please, you know, uh, click the notification bell because we do go live on this channel. So we usually try to go live on Wednesday evenings. Again, you know, depending on what's going on in our own personal lives, but we are trying to make this coming back on a regular basis. Okay, the last few months we've been kind of off and on, but we are trying to come back on a regular basis. So if you have the notification bell clicked, you will get the notification that we're live right away and we do do live readings right here on the channel um also just remember that these are general readings so they may not resonate with everyone but i also suggest that you take a look into your sun moon rising and venus signs just to get a more accurate picture of the upcoming week ahead thanks so much for watching take care everyone and talk to you soon Libra, welcome to your weekly reading for April 15th to the 22nd. We're going to be taking a look into the energy of the mind, body, and spirit, as well as relationships with a closing message from the universe. Please remember that these are general readings, so they may not resonate with everyone, but I do suggest you check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And if these, mes if these messages do resonate with you uh, and you'd like a personal reading, you can contact me at oracleintuitions.com. All right, so let's take a look and see what's coming in here. Um, okay, so first two cards that are coming through within our mental state, which is our internal, and we have the external. So it really feels like, so it's interesting because we have the thinking woman, indecision, and we have the door to personal healing and happiness. I feel like what Spirit is saying to you is don't rush on a decision. Okay, don't rush on a decision. Whether it is to, you know, walk away or to, um, you know, come back together with something or maybe perhaps which path it is that you're going to take. It feels like for some of you, you might be in this place of indecision, all right? But at the same time, because there may be some overthinking that's going on or maybe perhaps you feel like your mind is muddled because of some sort of decision that you have to make, it is saying here, um, the message that I'm, I'm strongly receiving is don't rush to a decision. Okay. Um, I feel like what needs to happen here is when we have this, you know, within the external circumstances, we have this door to personal healing and happiness. And it feels like for some of you, you know, you're either walking through the door or you're ignoring the door that is open. All right. So you can take that as it resonates and whether this has to do with relationships or whether this has to do, you know, with some sort of career or, you know, financial matter, whatever it is, it does feel like, you're in this place here where there is this opportunity that's opening for personal healing, for personal happiness, but you're sort of like, should I go through it? Should I go through it? Which path do I take? You know, and I feel like you're leading too much. I feel like spirit saying here, you're leading too much by your head. You're leading too much by your head than you are by your heart. And because your heart is being led to this open door of this healing and this happiness, all right? It feels like just for some of you, you may be ignoring it. You may not be following the path where these doors are open to. You can see her kind of standing here. Which decision do I go? Do I go this way or this way, this way or this way? But here this door is open showing which way to go and, and you're still overthinking it or there's still some sort of energy here where you're 
it, it's almost as though if I do this, this is going to happen. If I do this, this is going to happen. It feels like you need to actually lead with your heart. So let's get some tarot and see what's going on. Uh, and see if this gives us some sort of clarity on maybe perhaps, you know, the indecision. Let's clarify indecision and see what's coming through. So spirit, if you can clarify indecision. Okay. Yeah. We have the world. It's, it feels like, I feel like for some of you, you know, that a chapter is supposed to be closed. It, like a chapter of some sort is supposed to be closed. Whatever this chapter has to do with, it may have possibly have to do with relationships in some way. It could have to do, you know, with whatever aspect it is in your life, but a chapter is closed. It even could have to do with just your inner self and maybe perhaps lessons that you've been learning, you know, along the way or especially recently, right? It feels like in some way something's happened where it, it, it when the world comes in, sometimes I look at it as like a karmic situation may be done and over with. All right. It, we've learned our lesson from that situation. We've grown as a person. We've allowed ourselves to complete a cycle. All right. And now it's actually time to take that step forward and completely close the door on that chapter. But yet when we close one door, what happens? Another one opens. And this is what's being shown is that door to that personal healing and happiness is right there for you. But you might be making that indecision as to do I do I continue with this cycle? Do I stay within this cycle? Even though I know that, you know, ultimately, you know that the cycle should be closed. The cycle should be done. You might be trying to go back to the cycle or maybe perhaps you're receiving, you know, external influence of some sort of somebody trying to convince you to complete the cycle or to continue the cycle. But it feels like for me, when I'm, when I'm looking at this, the cycle is over. The cycle is over. All right. It's time to actually make a decision that is going to lead you to a place where you're going to feel content, where you're going to have that healing, where you're going to have that happiness. I feel like for some of you, whatever situation this is, that personal happiness or that personal healing hasn't been allowed simply because of the fact that you might be completing or going around and around and around in a particular cycle. So let's, uh, let's clarify that door to personal healing and happiness. Um, interesting bottom of the deck is the temperance card. So again, it talks about balance, right? Like a balance sort of that needs to happen. And it feels like you're doing a lot of overthinking rather than leading with the heart. There's an imbalance in that. So let's see what's coming through. Yeah, we have the three of pentacles. There's a collaboration or perhaps maybe that collaboration is over what you thought was going to be a collaboration. It could be closing, but there be, might be a new collaboration that's coming through. And this could be a collaboration with your personal healing, happiness, uh, higher self, right? Because you're closing that cycle, you're heading into a new direction that feels good for you. It could even be another person that perhaps could be coming through or another opportunity with whatever aspect it has to do with at this moment um, or whatever this is relating to. But there could be another opportunity. But again, it's like almost like, do I leave this chapter even though this other chapter with a collaboration of some sort or this um, contract, you know, maybe perhaps in some way, I know that this is going to be better for me, but I st again, I'm still hesitating or I'm not making that decision to cl to move forward. And let's clarify that thinking woman. Yeah, nine of, uh, nine of uh, wands is coming through. So that's a very defensive energy. And it almost feels like you're closing off your heart for some reason, all right? You're not listening to the messages from spirit in regards to, you know, the heart energy, I get, you know, it, it really does feel like for some of you, you're so caught up in your, in your mind that it's almost putting a defense around you. All right. It, it feels like, am I ready for the fight? Okay. If I go this direction, there may be, um, to some degree, a, a challenge or a, a fight, or maybe it's just easier to stay in a, in a place that isn't fulfilling me because I don't want, I don't know if I want to face the fight, right? And it, it kind of feels like this needs to be let go of. This, this energy here needs to be healed. It, you can't stay in a place that is just bringing a sense of contentment, but no happiness, all right? And, and this is what I'm getting from this energy. So let's get some uh, more clarification. But what we're going to be looking into is perhaps 
uh, some shadow work or inner child work or maybe perhaps a, a message from spirit of what it is that we need to focus in on or take a look at. All right. So first card coming through, take off your mask. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, you might have had to wear a mask uh, within a particular situation, but it's not only just an external mask. I feel like this is an internal mask, okay? And again, you're not following, for some of you, you might not be following your heart, right? When we take off that mask, we expose who we are. When we become vulnerable, even to ourselves, right? It's removing a mask of some sort. It feels like this mask needs to come off so that you can see the closing off of some particular cycle, whatever that cycle may have to be. And, um, and I really feel, or, you know, even if you weren't really allowed to be yourself in some sort of situation, whether it's with yourself or again, externally, the mask is coming off or it needs to come off in order for you to see clearly. You can't see clearly when you're wearing this mask either, right? You're not seeing the situation in a clear state. All right, we also have sexual arts. So I do feel that for some of you, um, this could be a repression on sexual energy, um, but it also could have to do with, um, you know, really clearing the uh, fifth chakra, which is your sacral chakra, right? Um, which has to do with sexual energy. But I'm also getting here, there could be a new collaboration. And maybe for some of you, you might even be in this place where, well, the sex is good within this situation, So do, but I'm not completely happy. But am I holding myself back because of the physical um, sensations, I guess is the best way to say it, of this situation? And I'm scared to let go of that because will I feel that again? Even though, again, there may not be complete happiness within this situation. Um, for some of you, it might even be saying that you're holding yourself back sexually in regards to some sort of situation. All right. And you can, you can, you can um, decipher that, how it relates to you. But I do feel that it's almost as though this other energy is trying to come through. Okay. This could be a new partner. It could be a new, um, uh, a change within the energy within your situation once you take off the mask all right again however it relates to you we also have sadness again i feel because of the fact that you're you're coming from a place of thinking or overthinking or you know only putting thoughts towards the situation instead of following the heart energy it does feel like there is sadness there right there is a sadness but again, you know, you might be in this place that you're so defensive, you might not be looking at those other opportunities that are going to bring you that personal happiness, right? Sometimes we get into such a state that it doesn't allow us to expand our awareness towards what else is coming through, even if it's not immediate, all right? Or, or it prevents us from seeing the possibilities of something in a future context even if it's not being presented right now. Sometimes we need to do the healing. Sometimes we need, you know, you know, sexual arts. Maybe there's a healing within um, our past relationships that we need to do first before something is being presented. But what I'm getting here for you Libras is it does feel, again, is like you have to remove that head en energy, right? Remove, remove the energy from the head. When we follow our hearts, we are going to ultimately make the right decision, right? So let's get a closing message from universe. And then we're going to get into relationships and it might even get deeper into relationships. Um, but let's just see what the universe has to say in regards to this particular, uh, to these particular cards. shuffles perspective right can't make this up a calm and clear mind is is free to see differently so it does feel like again that overthinking right we got to come from our heart space we got to take a new perspective towards the situation this will really help clear up that indecision that you may be struggling with at this time once we remove all the fear and the worry and we just follow our heart and then when when we listen to our heart what it does is it automatically you know allows our mind to activate 
in the, in the direction that we need to go. Or once we open our heart, this is where spirit starts showing the signs of where it is that we're supposed to be or what it is that we're supposed to do. But we have to be in a calm situation or a calm place. And I do feel that for many of you, there might be that overthinking, which is causing, you know, we have that defensive energy, right? So it could be causing defensiveness. It could be causing some sense of anxiety, the sadness. And so again, it really feels like to calm the mind will help bring in that new perspective, which will allow us to see clearly and differently. So let's get, um, let's take a look into relationships and see what's coming through. Whoops. So we're gonna use the kipper just to start off the relationship. I'm having a heck of a time trying to shuffle these little guys. All right, three shuffles, one more. Let's see what's coming in. All right, we have marriage. So this this uh, situation could involve marriage. Maybe perhaps, you know, um, you're worried about marriage or maybe you're worried about, you know, finding the perfect partner, but it also could do for those, you know, that are in some sort of long-term relationship. We also have child. The, the situation could involve children in some way. It also could involve, like this could be talking about, clear again, your inner child, clearing your inner child. And, but we also have the mature man. So when we have that mature man come in, this could have to do with your partner or a particular person. But I'm also getting here is coming from a mature state. All right. And, and when we look at the mature man, he's not in this place of like over worry, overthinking. Um, he knows, he knows, it, you know, the mature man in this particular deck kind of reminds me of that energy of the uh, King of Swords, right? Or even the King of Pentacles, where they're in this place of, you know, they've done the work, right? They don't need to be in a place of drama. They don't, you know, the mature man doesn't accept drama and he doesn't accept, you know, this, this state of overthinking or anything like that. When he makes a decision, it's the decision. But I do feel here, and again, this is just the beginning of the reading. So, you know, we're, we're going to, you know, dive deeper into this and see what it has to do with. But I do feel, um, and this even, like I said, it even could indicate, you know, your particular person or, you know, if you're male, it could be you. But I, I do feel like for some of you, this could have to do with a relationship or perhaps seeking a relationship. Okay. And again, I'm getting a lot of energy about making a decision. All right. But it does feel that some healing needs to happen in regards to something first. So let's see what else is coming through here. All right. I feel like for some of you, there could be a new person and the person that is coming through could be mature. All right. Like it may, may be different from other partners that you've dealt with in the past or other people that you've been with in the past. And again, you know, just because it says man, it doesn't need to be man. It could be um, just a mature person in general. But it does feel that um, for some of you, there could be a new person that's presenting themselves at this time. Um and maybe you're in a place of worried about, you know, can I leave, you know, could I leave my current situation or should I take a t chance, even if you're not in a, you know, current relationship, should I take a chance on this particular person? All right. So the three cards that I'm getting is the first card coming through is this could be one. You've already met the romantic par partner that you seek. And, you know, when we talk about that, it doesn't mean that they're, you know, really in your life at this current moment, but it does feel like, you know, they're about to present themselves. But again, you have to remove this old energy that may have been playing uh, around you at this moment, right? But, you know, look at this. This could be the one and we have marriage, all right? So I do feel like there's this energy that's trying to present itself. Now, this could be a current partner, right? Or somebody that you've had your eye on or somebody that, you know, you, you might be thinking about when we talk about the relationships. And again, I, I just keep feeling like you're in this state of indecision. Like, should I go? Should I stay? Should I do this? Should I take this chance? Whatever it is. But
but we also have the passion coming in. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, which is interesting because I also look at these sexual arts that are coming through and it does feel like you might have restricted yourself from passion in some way. And again, this could have to do with old relationships or maybe old patterns that you fell into with somebody or, you know, perhaps maybe this was an ongoing theme before. And remember, we also had take off your mask. I do feel that for many of you, there needs to be some sort of inner child type of healing going on here. Again, it could have to do with children. Maybe perhaps, you know, you feel that you can't be passionate because you're in a place of being a parent. And, you know, parents aren't supposed to be passionate or whatever it is that, you know, we, we tend to place a narrative on, right? But... But I'm, I'm getting that there needs to be more inner child healing in order for the passion to present itself, all right? We also have let your friends help you. Ask for help, ask for and accept support from others. So I'm getting here, it, it really feels like you do have, you know, first of all, a strong support system. But I'm also getting here that, you know, you might be receiving advice from others that are going to help guide you, whether, I mean, whether it's just something as simple as this video, maybe it's, you know, other tarot readings that you're, you're seeking, maybe it's help from friends, maybe this is just listening to your inner self, right? Because it does feel like the support is there right? But you have to really listen to what your inner self is saying and that inner child. And again, it does feel like a lot of heart energy. For some of you, you know, this could be the presentation of somebody mature coming in. All right. Um, could even be that your friends will present him to you. All right. We're just going to leave it at that. Can't say that that's going to happen for everybody because it's, you can only take the reading as it resonates with you. But I do feel the messages that are coming through are important so let's get some more clarification and these two cards wanted to come through right away look at this the heart right love romance joy bliss heart's desire content affectionate fulfillment right I, I, I keep feeling like something is trying to come through for you guys um, or a new let's say an upgrade in the energy of your current situation is trying to come through but are you being in a place of defensiveness or are you being in a place of indecision when it when it's being presented to you it almost feels like for some of you you maybe your partners want to have a deeper connection with you or your current people want to go to that next level or there could be somebody you know again new coming in that is going to allow you to open your heart but again you have to make that decision of closing an older cycle we also have here mortar and pestle so blend brew alchemy connection or concoction, medicine. Um, I feel like, I, uh, you know, I feel like here, when we have that alchemy and the medicine, I feel like there needs to be healing, right? There needs to be some healing coming in. Just like I said before, it just feels like you're in this place where you want to brew something or you want to create something but I feel like for some of you, you might not be really ready to let go of an old cycle. And I feel like Spirit's saying to you, you got to close off this cycle first. You have to close this cycle before, you know, you take that next step forward. Even if you're in a relationship, it could be closing a cycle of just how the two of you communicate or behave with each other or, you know, some, some sort of ego energy that's coming in here. Um, and again, you know, with that mature man, he doesn't tolerate drama. He doesn't tolerate indecision. It's kind of like, you know, he, he knows what it is that he wants and he goes for it. And I feel like this energy is, is presenting itself for a reason. There needs to be a healing in some way. We also have, um, let's get some more clarification here. Element of fire. Yeah. So expect the unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> I like this, right? But it does talk about enthusiastic, creative force, eager, ego-centered. And that's kind of what I was mentioning, right? But it talks about passion, spontaneous impulse. I feel like for many of you, it's like you were so scared to remove the mask that you didn't allow yourself to be in a place of expecting the unexpected. It was almost like it has to be like this. It has to be like this. You know, um, it has to be A, B, or C, or D. Uh, I can't move forward. I have to stay, you know, I'm kind of stuck in this um, energy of repeating the old cycles. And I feel like Spirit is saying to you here with this element of fire, it's like, 
be passionate follow what it is that your heart is is singing to you whether it's a person or a place or you know maybe it's just focusing in on yourself and doing the healing that is necessary at this moment but you know again we have this ego and i did feel ego when it came in here right it almost feels like there needs to be a release of ego in some way and this could be holding you back from making a decision sometimes our ego holds us in a place where we're not ready to close a cycle because we're trying to be in a place of i need to win or i need to have closure or i need you know whatever it is right um and and sometimes we just have to release that and move forward in some way and just kind of go okay I might not get the closure that I, it is that I'm seeking or, you know, it's sometimes coming to that realization. I've learned a lesson from this cycle. It's time to move on. It's time to let it go, whatever that cycle is. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to leave your person. It's closing off a cycle perhaps with that person that could possibly be ego centered, right? Because we do have these cards here. This could be the one, the marriage, heart, love, romance. Something is trying to come through, but are you blocking it? Are you blocking the energy that is trying to present itself? Are you trying to block or are you blocking, you know, making that decision that is going to lead to that personal healing and happiness? All right. So let's see what energy is coming through with this. We have look for a sign. I actually just, didn't I say that? Something about a sign? Like the universe might be showing you signs, you know, about something. Like once we receive, once we release the, the ego or once we actually come from that heart center, you know, signs do present themselves. It also talks about listen to your intuition. So again, you know what it is that you want to do. Listen to your heart. Listen to your gut. You know what that decision is. Can't make this up, right? Listen to your intuition. I feel like for some of you, you're so stuck in your head that you're not allowing your heart to show you the way. And we have recovery. Yeah, like I do feel there, there is some healing energy that does need to happen here, right? You're in through this. It's, it's, it's like a lot of people, you know, when we get into a place of hurt or we get into a place of, <clears throat> um, you know, maybe sometimes making a decision or we try to make the decision too quickly, you know, we don't allow that healing to come in fully. Um, it, it's, it's not allowing us to make a decision from um, a mature mind, right? We're coming in from a state of a, a different emotional state, right? We're not coming in from that mature place within our heart, our soul, our mind, that type of energy. I do feel that for some of you, whatever the cycle is that you had to close out, that there needs to be some recovery time um, before taking that next step, okay? Whatever that recovery time looks like, whether it's, you know, just taking some time to yourself, maybe perhaps it's just take, you know, taking a step back and allowing yourself to make a different decision, whatever it is, however it presents itself to you. But um, again, I just, I just seriously keep feeling like there is some sort of relationship uh, and the, the very committed relationship that is trying to come forward, all right? But are you blocking it? Look at this. This is like three times that we've had passion, right? Intense chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. It Again, you know, it feels like, like we had the passion. We had the passion. We had the sexual art. All of this is coming through. It feels like, you, you know what? You're wearing a mask towards allowing yourself to accept passion, right? It almost feels like... Um, where you're in this place, if if I show and, and whatever the passion you know involves, it doesn't need to always be sexual, right? But it's a passion towards something, right? Maybe passion toward the arts, maybe pa pa you know passion towards your job, your career, your person, whatever it is. But it feels like for some of you, you have to take off the mask. Like there's a mask that's being presented here. Maybe you know just for some of you, you feel like you have to be in a place of a false front rather than removing the mask and letting that passion present itself. We also have Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, uh, invitation or meeting. Again, I, I do feel that for many of you, this is somebody new that's trying to present themselves in some way. You might have already met this person. Maybe they're new to you, you know, but you may have already met them. They, you know, like they may have already presented themselves. Maybe you've been in this place of, do I go for it? Do I not go for it again? You know, because of some sort of past issue, 
that you had to close off a cycle with. So you can go through the recovery, you can take your time with this, but it is saying, you know, that something feels like it is trying to really come through and are you going to allow it? We also have not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. Um, I feel like this has to do with the past. And again, you know, it's, it's right here on the recovery. So maybe somebody felt, or maybe somebody made you feel like you weren't enough, right? Maybe somebody, you know, uh, was bringing about this energy of jealousy, whether trying to make you jealous or whether perhaps maybe they were a jealous type of person and you felt that you couldn't be free, you couldn't take off your mask, you couldn't, you know, be who you truly are. We also have this lack of self-confidence, right? Self-sabotage, fear, ego. Again, this is the second time that ego is presenting itself. So something within the ego, and this doesn't mean egotistic. This means that we're not allowing ourselves to dive deep into who we are because we're holding some sort of blockage there, right? Our ego is is falsely presenting itself as a defense, like with that nine of wands energy that was coming through. So when we move that ego aside, it's, and again, it's kind of like I what I had said before, you know, maybe you're in, your, you're in this place of, well, you know, I need closure, I need an apology, I need this, I need that. that that's ego talking, right? That's ego. Um, we don't always need the apology, the the closure or whatever it is that's really all we're doing with that is keeping us in one place and not allowing us to move forward so again i feel like spirit is trying to bring something through it's trying to bring through this passionate beautiful relationship this could be the one this could be the one and this is beautiful energy so I truly hope that this has helped, Libra. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, have an amazing week. And don't forget to uh, click subscribe, click the notification bell. And this way you get notified when we do go live on the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.